So, I uh, bought a CD drive, or a DVD drive for my laptop, and since it doesn't have an internal laptop at all. Um, so, what I'm going to show you this session is to um, install a um, CD uh, ripper so that we can um, put some, get some music onto our system. So I just um, simply plug in the DVD drive and I'm just inserting a um, music CD right now. And I just want to see if the computer recognize this at all and yes so just a straightforward DVD drive and it comes up with audio disk and as you see here it's given me an option of opening it up in uh, rhythm box which is here which is the default music player and it's opened up on my second screen so you can't see it but here I've dragged it down and as you can see, yes, it's a OK Computer by Radiohead and it's brought up all the title, the track titles here. Doesn't know its genre. So, uh, can I just play? Play Q is not the same as play. So that looks good. I'll stop it there. Otherwise, when I upload this session onto YouTube, it will uh, flag up some copyright issues and probably block my video. Um, so what I'm going to do is see if I can rip that using Rhythmbox. So I want to put, I want to keep these songs on my uh, laptop here, so I can play it back without having the CD drive or the CD itself. So do I have such an option? Um, so, okay. To cut a long story short, can I rip with rhythm blocks? Yes, I can. So it looks like it there. So the text has gone very small. And uh, squinting my eyes to read, it says, uh, extract button can I see an extract button can you see an extract button okay no I can't so let's um, expand that. Read ahead, US, Canada, Great Britain, like that. Um, I can't see an extract. So here we have some more options stop, quit, and so forth. But uh, no extract. So let me just. Go back there and it says Oh, this is an export button, but but somebody's asking. View and then check select source toolbar. Okay. 
Okay, so view so so that's toolbar. Oh, there we go, and here we go, extract. So I can hear this CD ROM drive spinning. And copying track to the library, it looks like it's doing it right there. Um, no other in case indication. Right. So the next place, the next thing I want to do is find out where it puts my files. So if I open File Explorer, there's a music folder, and I would assume it puts things in there by default. And yes, here it is. As you can see, it's happily uh, ripping away merrily. So that's all very good, that's all very fine. Um, it rips it into um, this format here, OGG, which is uh, Vorbis, um, I think. And uh, I've had this issue before where uh, I use simple screen recorder and use Vorbis uh, audio codec, codec and when I move the recording over to another device, a Windows device, um, no sound was heard. So um, again, um, this format might be not so, uh, so um, transferable as we think. So if we stop this and choose um, go into settings and find out whether we can change the um, ripping codec there we go to something else more transferable like MP4 um, and even FLAC is more supported um, So I think MP4 audio would be preferable here. The safest would be MP3, obviously. But um, so if I stop this uh, with the stop button, And not only did it stop, but uh, it crashed. Let's start again then. According to that, if we restart, and it hasn't, so we go to the short, uh, shortcut or the favorites, and we open it up manually and I hear my dry spinning and it seems to have reordered these three columns and what's this at the top here oh so this is the rip files so these three here have appeared now in here so if I select these and um, delete them or as we found out uh, in a different session if I uh, select these and hit delete it moves them to the bin 
rather than delete them. And then if I go back to computer and again, my um, rip is disappeared. So if I just go to preferences and check Uh, if I go to go to view and show that just change that to UK uh, GB and or some of the tools nothing. go to uh, music and j just check that that is mp4 so now I can rip um, since I've selected show okay well how do I select oh right so these are the albums so I've selected the right one. Where's my rip button? I'm sure I've checked. Show source. There, at the top, of course. Right under my nose. So extract. There we go. So now it's an MP4 audio file so m4 audio so vorbis i know um vorbis codec is supported um in vlc player I'm just going to bring up VLC player and see if I can play my uh, file here. Um, I'll close that maybe. We can't play files when it's in the trash. So if I Move that to the desktop. There we go. Uh, so again, let's put it on my second screen. Drag it onto this screen so you can see it. And then, why can I not drag and drop into the media player? I can't. So if I go and find it, it does play. And again, I'll stop it in case uh, YouTube uh, detects it. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Um, refresh. Uh, it's still ripping. So I'll leave it to rip and we'll see what happens next. My drive has gone very quiet, so I suspect something disturb its uh, CD ripping. Okay, thanks for watching.